Welcome to Science Tree Channel and today's topic is hydrocarbons from chapter number 12 class 10th and we all know that hydrocarbons means the compounds made up of carbon hydrogen and their derivatives and the word derivative means that there is an atom other than that of hydrogen and carbon it may be nitrogen sulfur or anything else now why carbon is so important have you ever think about it yes carbon belongs to group number 4a having four electrons in its outermost shell and carbon is the only element capable of forming stable extended chains of atoms bonded through single double or triple bonds means carbon can form single bond with carbon and carbon can also form double bond with carbon when carbon having a single bond with carbon it's known as alkanes so please remember that when carbon forms double bond with carbon its name will be alkenes and when carbon forms triple bond with carbon it means alkynes now the general classes of hydrocarbons depending upon the nature of bonds present in the molecules they are divided into four general classes alkenes having single bond alkenes having double bonds alkynes having triple bonds between carbon and carbon atoms and the last but not the least aromatic compounds having aroma having smell in them closed chain hydrocarbons in which last carbon is joined with the first carbon it's just the start of the chapter and at the end of the chapter we will be well familiar with all the classes of hydrocarbons now why saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons have different chemical properties but same physical properties have you any knowledge about saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons you are right saturated hydrocarbons are those hydrocarbons which have single bond in them and unsaturated hydrocarbons are those hydrocarbons which have double or triple bond in them now the answer of the question is they differ in chemical properties due to nature of bonds present in them as saturated hydrocarbons have single bond in them while unsaturated hydrocarbons have double bond in them next their physical properties are similar why because of comparable electronegativities of carbon and hydrogen thus they are almost nonpolar and insoluble in water carbon belongs to group number 4a while hydrogen belongs to group number 1a but hydrogen placed over group 1a due to having one electron in its outermost shell although most of its properties are resembled with non metals so now definitely they have less electronegativity differences so they have same physical properties non polarity means that they don't have proper poles proper positive and negative endings they have partial positively and negatively charged endings are present due to covalent bond present in them as they are non polar so how can they be dissolved in polar substances as we all know that water is a polar substance what is a polar compound so 
definitely like dissolve like non polar will dissolve in non polar solvents and polar compounds will dissolve in polar solvents now some basic properties of hydrocarbons which you should remember before starting the chapter they dissolve readily in non polar solvents as they are themselves non polar they are gases or volatile liquids their volatility decreases with the increase of molecular mass now as the number of carbon atoms are increasing in a compound we have long and long chains of hydrocarbons due to the presence of catenation property so when molecular mass increases definitely how could they volatile how could they evaporate with increasing molecular mass their size will increase and they will convert from gas to liquid and from liquid to solid and it's difficult to evaporate solid than as compared to gas so that's why with increasing molecular mass their volatility decreases low molecular mass hydrocarbons are gases at room temperature such as methane and ethane now as the molecular mass of hydrocarbons increases they convert into liquids such as c6h14 that means hexane higher molecular mass hydrocarbons are solids because they have more number of carbon atoms present in them now the next question is that how fossil fuel formed fossil fuel is hydrocarbon isn't it interesting yes fossil fuel is a general term for buried combustible geological deposits of organic material and how they formed they formed from decayed plants and animals that have been converted to crude oil coal natural gas or heavy oils by exposure to heat and pressure in the earth crust over hundreds of millions of years so that's what fossil fuel is now as fossil fuels are hydrocarbons they are not only major sources of energy but also a raw material used to make thousands of consumer products like clothes fibers rubber and so many other things hydrocarbons are the starting materials for the synthesis of organic chemicals of commercial import So here are some uses of hydrocarbons. They are used in making plastics, synthetic rubbers which are used in making tires, synthetic fibers used in making clothes, fertilizers used for the better development of crops. So at the end hydrocarbons are those compounds which are made up of only carbon and hydrogen atoms here is a question why are hydrocarbons considered as parent organic compounds what is your opinion yes you are right hydrocarbons are regarded as the parent organic compounds since other organic compounds are considered to be derived from them by the replacement of one or more hydrogen atoms by other atoms or group of atoms so that's why they are known as parent organic compounds thank you so much for more videos keep watching have a great day